Oh, that's right. That's right. Can you tell that I've put on shaving cream? Can you tell? Can you see? <laughs> I put a little bit of Barbasol on because I just want to do a quick, you know, get rid of that, but I want to focus mainly on this. I know. That's pretty good. I'm, oh. Yeah. Every year after I'm done with this, I always say, I'm not going to do it again. I'm not going to do it. And I do it. And then it drives me crazy. <laughs> so what I'm going to do today, somebody said, you should shave it off with Grandpa Grungy. And here he is. He's ready to go. And they said, do it on setting nine. Well, first of all, I'm going to dial it down to five for my cheeks and my neck because it doesn't need a nine. And I'm going to use a brand new feather blade. Ooh. There we go. Feather blade, ladies and gents. I'm going to put that in there. So it's on a five right now. Let's see. Twist that closed. Give it that final turn to lock it in place. Grandpa Grungy. Do a little bit of work. I took a shower, did my hair. It's starting to, it's a little too Elvisy now. I need to get a haircut or something. I like, do it like this and then I, when it gets a little dry because it's wet right now, I let it, uh, I let, uh, uh, <laughs> sorry, I got, got distracted looking at my cheek. <laughs> then I kind of mess it up a little bit and it looks a little bit better. Not as uh, like Arthur Fonzarelli or anything. Okay. Just gonna do a cursory once down because I want, like I said, I want to focus mainly on the goatee, but I want to shape it first. I want to get rid of this first. I want to see what I look like with the uh, the walrus mustache. I did it. I've done it in the past, and I just don't think it suits my face. You know, kind of the uh, the John Lennon 1967 or uh, the Frank Zappa with the soul patch, that kind of stuff. I just don't think it suits me. So. Let's just take a look, shall we? Shall we? All right. Okay. Now, if you have one of these uh, vintage Gillettes, maybe it's a, a slim adjustable like this one, or if it's a fat boy or whatever, you should loosen the butterfly uh, 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 head. <laughs> okay. Well, these old things, the little gates. Loosen them up. You don't have to open it all the way. Then adjust it. So I'm going to turn this to nine. Where is it? There we go, nine. I don't think I've ever shaved with this on a nine. I could have. My memory is terrible. I'm, I apologize. I apologize, ladies and gents. All right. So there we go. Oh my, should I even use some shaving cream? You know what? I'm going to use a little bit of shaving cream. I'm going to use Taylor of Old Bond Street. And I'm going to use my West Coast Shaving Jolly Rancher, and most importantly, like I said in the last video, I'm gonna shave with tequila. I'm, I'm gonna use aftershave. My aftershave is gonna be tequila. I'm gonna use tequila, yeah. But like the old cooks say, don't cook with wine that you wouldn't drink. Don't shave with tequila that you won't drink. 100% agave, it's good. It doesn't make you cringe. That's good. This is real tequila. I'm not kidding. <laughs> That's not tea. That's not watered down tea to look like something or apple juice. All right. Whew. It's good stuff. Good stuff. It doesn't even burn. It's just you drink a big mouthful of uh, alcohol. You're going <laughs> to you're going to have an effect. All right. I'm just going to use a little bit. Oh, this stuff smells so good. The almond, the Taylor Wall Bond Street almond, almond shaving cream. Lovely, lovely. I'm just gonna do this. Ooh, it's weird. <laughs> it's getting up my nose when I do this. I can't even get it on, there we go. I couldn't even get it on the dang mustache. Ooh, that's weird. Look at this. Look at this. What's up? <laughs> Looks like I ate a bunch of cream gravy off a chicken fried steak. Ew. It's gonna be weird to see myself again, you know? Even after a month, you get kind of used to the way you look with facial hair. And I know as soon as the kids and the wife see me, they'll be like, ew, dad, you're weird. You're not my dad. Throw away your garbage. All right, oh, missed again, of course. I'm terrible at basketball. All right, Grandpa Grungy on nine with a brand new feather blade. Whew. Let's see if you can handle it. <laughs> I know I should trim it down with trimmers. I know I should. Should I? No.
Uh -huh. I gotta make sure I don't cut myself. I gotta clean this out as I go so it doesn't get clogged up. hear that? Wow. Wow, it's doing a good job. I'll take it from this side. It gets clogged up really quick. Ew. Every time I do this every year, I look down in this in this in the little bowl where I have the water and it's like full of gross grossness. Beard hair. Well, I can't really do a walrus mustache because it's not that thick on the sides, but I'll get down as close as I can. Are you enjoying this? Do I amuse you? Are you not entertained? I'm kind of entertained. It's kind of an adventure for me too. Oh, this is gonna be so... The first thing you should do after you shave off facial hair that you've had for a while is go get a can of beer or a can of Coke and drink it because you can feel the coldness around your mouth again. Go kiss your loved ones too because they won't be like, eh, quit poking me. Oh, look at that. Ooh, so gross looking. It's all patchy. Thank goodness I won't have to use that beard oil anymore. Hopefully my skin's not too splotchy and red. It probably will be. It always happens. After I've, I gotta wash this thing out. <laughs> it's so cold. This is my little emesis basin that I keep full of water here. So if you're ever, uh, if you work at a hospital or if you have the misfortune of having to be in a hospital for some reason, you can grab yourself one of those. It's good for this sort of thing. I think we got that when my wife was having our second child. I don't recall exactly. I gotta be real careful because this skin hasn't been scraped at in a month. Okay, I'm gonna wash this off to see what it looks like without the shaving cream in it. That looks kind of cool. Huh, interesting. That looks kind of interesting, kind of cool, maybe? What do you think? Soul patch, is that too big? Is the soul tap patch too big? Oh, wait, let me put a little bit more, just to kind of help out. It's fun. Let's go for a thinner, but long soul patch. I be careful I don't cut myself. That's a weird skinny one. I don't know. Let's see. Can you even see it? Yeah, what's up? What's up? Tough guy. Now nah, that didn't work. <laughs> Let's go with the teeny tiny soul patch. You know, just the one right underneath the old lip. go. How's that look? If this was fuller, like if my mustache went over my lip, but see how you can see my top lip? That's what you got to do. You got to get that long mustache. You got to let it grow for another, you know, month or two to really get that look. Like that Sam Elliott. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing now. <laughs> Might be this. Kind of take a little... That was a tiny sip. I gotta go to work later. I can't be getting drunk in the middle of the day. All right. I just got, see, I'm cleaning as I go down here. There's, well, in the sink, I mean. There's lots of, lots of beard hair everywhere. All right. All right. Time to get rid of the soul patch. I wish having facial hair didn't bug me so much because I think I kind of look good with some forms of facial hair. And like I said, back in the 90s, I had, for the better part of 14 years, I had a beard and then I had a goatee for a long time. And it gives me a more defined chin and face, you know? Why oh, your face always looks so naked when you shave off facial hair. You ever seen that video of the guy who had one of those giant, like, 12-inch long beards and shaved the whole thing off? I was like, whoa. 
There you go. Now, now I got the cop stash. My hair. It's too goofy. I look like Conway Twitty in the 70s, or in the 60s, rather. Oh, yeah. No. Mustache? Just mustache for me? Let's see if I can get a really pencil-thin mustache. I think I've done that before. Hmm. It just needs to be thicker. No, I'm not going to shave it into a Charlie Chaplin mustache, if you know what I mean. That could be misconstrued in a lot of ways. All right, let's see. Um, hmm. Oh, shaving the lip again. I'm going to try for one of those, like, uh, uh, 1920s thin little mustaches, you know? Like you see the guys in the movies. <laughs> I amuse myself, I don't know. Okay, that's weird. That's weird with all the soap on it. Hmm. <laughs> so what you're saying, Mr. Lindbergh, is that you're going all the way across the Atlantic, is that right? Hmm, it needs to be trimmed. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's my hunk them up when I need it? Here's my little Panasonic trimmer. Just gonna trim the ends off so it gets real small and greasy. You must have a steady hand to perform this operation. Ooh, it tickles. <laughs> Just beard hair everywhere. It's like when I shave with the whipped cream. It was just disgusting. Hmm. Hi, I'm the chinless wonder. <laughs> I look like Howard Hughes, except my fingernails aren't long. Hmm. I look roguish, rakish almost. I need a fedora. And my hair is starting to fit now that I got this little greasy, little tiny mustache. No, oh, no. You know, if I don't move my face, I'm almost handsome. As soon as I start talking, oh boy. All right, folks. It's the final moment. The final moments of this year's No Shave November. Oh, gosh, this is all clogged up. Let me clean it out. Hold on, hold on. Oof. There we go. Easy as pie. Put it right back in. This thing worked like a champ, man. Good job, Grandpa Grungy. All right, we're going to shave it just in the middle. Let's see what it looks like if I just have hair on the side. It's kind of like Worf in uh, Star Trek The Next Generation. Didn't he just have a little mustache hair at the sides of his mouth? I think so. You can't even tell it like blends in with my face. Oh well. The hair's not dark enough. Shoot. Oh well. What am I going to do? Alright. Alright. Say goodbye, Mr. Mustache. Go careful, don't go too fast. Just caught myself going a little too fast. Oh man, whoa. Get into the nostrils again. It's gonna take me twice as long to shave now. Get those edges cleaned up. Real. Ooh, it's, and my, my skin isn't too blotchy. I think the beard uh, oil helped. Because normally my skin looks very red and irritated after I shave off facial hair. I gotta, hold on, rinse out my mouth. You know what time it is. Thank you, Grandpa Grungy. I'm going to let him dry out. I usually let him dry out like this. I put him face, uh, you know, kind of sitting upright on the counter, out in the air. I don't put him in the medicine cabinet until his, he's dry again. Oh, is this going to burn? I mean, it's... 40% alcohol by volume. I'd love to see how much the other ones are. I wonder if they're, hold on. Let me see if it even says, uh, Osage rub. Um, doesn't, just says it has alcohol, denatured alcohol as the second ingredient. Doesn't say what percentage, there's no proof. All right, tequila aftershave.
Good stuff. Mm. One more, one more. Just a little bit, not a lot. I'm not taking big slugs of it. Here we go. Okay. I don't want to waste it, but it wasn't very expensive. Actually, that wasn't bad. Nowhere near as bad as the, the cella that I love, but kills me every time. Or the first time I tried Osage Rub. And I don't think I got any nicks. Did I? No, like the maybe the slightest hint of one right there. Well, there we go, folks. No Shave November was a success. We did it. December coming up. Holiday season. I want to thank you all for joining me for this. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, go, go have yourself a drink. Uh, if you drink, if not, have yourself something else. And uh, yeah, thanks for being here. It's coming up on 2021. Not much left. Thank goodness. Can we kick this year in the rear end and get moving with some more positivity? I think we should. And I'm glad you're all here. And I hope you all made it through. And we're going to keep on going. I'm not going anywhere. I'm coming back at the end of this week. That's right. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me. And I'll see you soon. Bye.